All right, happy Saturday, everyone. Here's the good news. Yeah, we're starting the day off with sunshine, and I think we're going to finish the afternoon with sunshine as well. So get ready for a nice sunny day across the region. We did have a little morning fog. Most of that is now lifted or burned off now as we've gone throughout the past couple of hours. Temperatures are now into the mid to upper 40s, 47 at the airport. Thankfully, we have light winds because temperatures dropped down into the 30s this morning. So that would have given us a nice little wind chill, but because we've had light winds, yeah, overall, the wind chill is spilling pretty much like the temperature. Still, you may want to have something on your arms as you're heading out maybe to the uh, the, the farmer's uh, market this morning. But as we go throughout the afternoon, you'll shed that fairly quickly. Here's the radar picture. Quiet out there. No precipitation to track for you locally. So I'm going to expand the view for you to show you why. We've got high pressure building in from the north and west. That's ushering in that northerly flow, a dry flow across the area as of now. That's pushing that rainmaker that moved to our south last night well to our south and east and taking the clouds with it as well. So that means more sunshine expected as we go throughout today. So I, I can't urge this enough, folks. Please get outside. Take care of anything you need to do outside today, maybe into tomorrow as well, because as we go into next week, our pattern is going to change once again, all because of this system right now. And yes, I've got to take you north above the border here. We're going to go across the border into Canada, just north of Winnipeg. This is our next system. It's a cold front, a Canadian cold front. I know I checked the calendar. It's May. We're still tracking these things, folks, and this next one will arrive on Sunday night, and then it will kind of stall out across the area, so this is going to mean a wet weather pattern setting up for the region. Let me kind of illustrate what I mean by that as I show you this here on the map. What's going to happen is that front's going to move in and kind of stall out right around the area, and then we're going to see these little ripples or waves of low pressure riding up along that frontal boundary, and each one of these disturbances as they move through will pull up plenty of Gulf of Mexico moisture, and they will mix with some of the daytime heating, and that could give us bouts of showers and thunderstorms storms all week and yes yeah, some of that rainfall could be on the heavy side as well. Let's talk about the weekend first, though, because that's the good part of this forecast here. High pressure in charge of the forecast as we go throughout your Saturday. That's going to mean lots of sunshine, pleasant weather expected across the region for us today. And then I said high pressure slides to the east tonight. As we get into your Sunday, we'll see mix of sun and clouds on your Sunday. I think most of the day on Sunday will be dry, but notice as we get towards about Sunday night, we're going to see that frontal boundary starting to make its way, kind of oozing to the south. And notice some showers and thunderstorms could be developing along the Highway 20 corridor. So our rainfall forecast calls for again we're looking dry weather for us for your Saturday but we'll bump it up late Sunday and especially Monday into Tuesday of next week we're talking some pretty decent rain chances but I think they go even higher by the middle of the week in fact we could be talking about some heavy rainfall by Wednesday so between about Sunday night and heading into Tuesday night we're talking about a quarter to a half an inch of rainfall on average across the area but when you factor in that heavy round of rainfall that's potentially possible by the middle of the week yeah, folks, this is not good news. We could be adding about one to four inches of rainfall next week. And right now, some of the goddess is indicating the heaviest amounts of rain would fall from the quad cities and points north and west, which is not good news because a lot of that has to then run down the river. And that can mean those river levels rising quickly. And yes, we could see another record crest potentially, believe it or not, as we head into next week. In fact, take a look at the latest stats. Right now, the river level is falling. So we've gone from 22.7 down to 22.3. But notice the forecast keeps it falling but still in that major category the problem is this forecast does not account for the rainfall that we're expecting heading in the next week and again with some of that being on the heavy side that's going to create some problems 67 degrees for your high today plenty of sunshine just pleasant weather get outside and enjoy that 46 so not as cool tonight we'll see mostly clear to partly clear skies across the area your seven day forecast again those rain chances ramping up late sunday good chances of rain monday tuesday wednesday that's when we can see the heaviest even in the thursday and then we'll try to dry it out by next weekend